Hi, in this video we will see how to create a Windows service using .NET Core by adding some reference packages from NuGet Manager and also we will see about the SE utility for creating the Windows services and installing and querying the services from the service console. So now let's go to the command prompt, uh, create a folder for this project. So I'll be creating a folder for this project called a sample service project by using the command make directory sample service project and let's do a cd into the project folder and after doing the uh, project let's let's use a .NET command to create the worker project so .NET new york worker and your project name so in this case I'm just giving a sample service project and after creating the .NET worker service template let's get into the Visual Studio Code editor and see what what all the files we have inside the uh, project folder so if you'll see at this folder we will be having the programs and worker.cs two files and if here we want to make change to run the service as the Windows services so before getting into Windows uh, making that change let's go and see the project property where we have the package reference as the Microsoft extension hosting we need to add a one more package from the NuGet manager let's go into the Chrome and copy the I mean uh, bring the Microsoft extension hosting Windows service package from the NuGet manager uh, make sure you are using the same versions what you are referred inside the uh, worker template so in my case it was 3.1.4 I'm just copying that command coming back to the console where I'm going to do a dot not add of package a Microsoft extension hosting service version 3.1.4 and once you run the command it will the successful package are referenced there now let's do a, a run like dot .NET run uh, before doing a dot .NET run so I, I forgot to mention the as a Windows service so inside the configure service is make a mention like use Windows service and then clear your screen do a dot .NET run dot and you can see your uh, program is running in the console now let's make sure how it works how it's installed inside the uh, Windows services like uh, how we can uh, so, so before installing into Windows service we need to build the package so for that I'm just going to use a .NET publish where I going to mention my build directory output directory uh, publish hyphen o and your path to uh, building your uh, uh, output directory of this current pro project so once it's built successfully uh, let's go to the um, command prompt this time I'm just going to be opening my command prompt in the administrator mode so let's open the command prompt in administrator mode and let's do a query first like whether is there any service available inside the windows like a C query and the service name which I want to create a sample service and it's, it does not return any installed service which means no service is available let me go and create the service now SE create service name and uh, you specify the path is called bin path equal to where we have the uh, um, output directory like you can copy this directory from this location and you need to mention the exact exe name like a sample service dot exe now let's run this and do a query again after creating successfully sc query and the service name is a sample service So you can see uh, service now returning, but its status is stopped. Let me go back to the services.msc where I can go and see my services are installed there. 
and if you refresh you can see the sample services are installed and the status is not running so let's come back to the console and uh, try to run the service now by using a uh, command called sc start a service name so that i'm just going to run the service so sc start and the service name called a sample service so once i run this you can see the status uh, start pending and in some time it will be able to see the services running back home and similar way we can stop the service uh, by using a stop command as he stops service name uh, as a sample service now and after stopping that you will be able to see the service has stopped and also you can go and delete the service if it was not required for you like using a delete command sc delete and the service name so it's delete the service successfully and you can see um, service has permanently deleted from the service console i hope you like this video how to create the dot net core window services uh, with the help of sc utility command thank you for watching this video